in the nation to establish a community policing program as an integral part of our ongoing crime prevention and fighting strategies. Time and again, its members have helped identify conditions in their communities that breed crime and help them solve crimes that have been committed. Today it remains the foundation of our philosophy that when police and the community work together, we can better protect our streets, our families, our children from the gang bangers, drug dealers, and their gun violence. And we can better address other uh, neighborhood quality of life challenges. Our CAPS program has helped us for forge a lasting partnership with faith-based business, schools, neighborhood organizations, block clubs, and volunteers to address the cause of crime in each community. And thanks to the hard work of many volunteers, and there are many, many volunteers, of our neighborhoods are safer, more stable today with improved quality of life for our residents. But we always look forward for new ways to keep our neighborhoods safe and keep our CAPS program vital. Our future and our neighborhood safety depends even upon greater cooperation between your residents and the police. <clears throat> Continuing to empower our residents to be part of a solution in our everyday fight against violence is more important today than ever. Unfortunately, homicides are, are inching up uh, over last year, even though we're well below the number of homicides 10 years ago. But one homicide is one too many, and that's my philosophy. That's why today I want to announce that I've appointed Ronald Holt as a new director of CAPS program and asking him to lead it to the next level of success. He's the right person for the right time for the job. Ron is a 19-year veteran of the police department. He started as a beat patrol officer, has been assigned to a tactical unit officer, has been a member of the citywide gang intelligence unit. As you know, Ron has suffered the great pain of losing a child to gun violence. His 16-year-old son, Blair, was killed in 2007 when a gunman opened fire inside a CTA bus. Since that time, Ron has been assigned to the CAPS project office, has traveled across the city to get more people involved in our ongoing efforts against gangs, guns, and drugs. Violence has communicated the importance of parental responsibility and how we can better protect our children, especially those who are most at risk. He's appeared before the city council, he's appeared before Springfield, and, and even Washington, D.C., dealing with gun prevention. As a parent, Ron has been deeply involved in our efforts and gun violence as a co-founder and president of Purpose Over Pain, a community organization of parents who have suffered the loss of a child to gun violence. He is also the founder and executive director of Blair Holt Memorial Foundation and Blair Holt Peace Alliance, which are community-based organizations that advocate for stricter gun laws, educating and raising the awareness of youth to the dangers of gun violence. Ron brings to his new position a passion for keeping our city safe, exceptional skills convincing residents of our city to get involved with us to fight against gangs, guns, and drugs. I've told him that more than uh, told him that more than ever, we need greater involvement by people from every community. Protect our children, their children. Report crimes. Get more guns off the street and drug dealing. The smallest bit of information is the most important information. That means establishing a new relationship and partnership to expand the reach of CAPS program. It means organizing more block club organizations. It means getting more people involved to local beat meetings, getting them involved in parent patrols, and of course, local school councils. And convince, uh, convincing more neighborhood businesses to serve as safe havens as their students go to and from school, getting more parents involved in our safe passage program. It means convincing more residents to report criminals in their neighborhood instead of protecting them through the code of silence. It means encouraging more parents to keep their children involved in positive, constructive activities, especially after school and during the summer. It means involving thousands more adults in mentoring a child. I've told Ron that CAPS must redouble its effort to be an important catalyst in all these efforts because the key to meeting the challenge of violence remains community involvement. We will only succeed if government and the police department work together with the community, with our schools, our faith-based and community groups, business groups as well. Ron's job is the one he has done so well in the past, is to help us building bridges between the community and the police department, especially because of violence against our kids. I believe there is no more important time than right now for the CAPS program to grow and expand. Taking CAPS to a new level is one of the many steps we have taken recently to better police our streets, fight violence in all of our communities.
Our police department is implementing new crime prevention and fighting strategies. We're piloting a new effort to get young people who violate our curfew on the right path to life. We're using funds left over from 2016 Olympics to get more kids involved in positive summer activities. We're providing mentoring and social services jobs for more than 200 public school students, most at risk becoming involved with violence. And that is a major effort uh, in that at most, uh, at most at risk uh, youngsters in our school system. We have been creating cultures of calm at 45 public schools that house the greatest number of at-risk students by funding improvements to building safety, new truancy prevention efforts, new classroom curriculum that focus on social and emotional learning. Working together, we can solve these problems. And working together, we can keep our, all of our neighbors safe, strong as well. Ron? Thank you, ma'am. First of all, I want to thank Mayor Daly for giving me the opportunity to continue doing what I love to do, and that is working with the community. Just this morning, I was addressing students at Urban Prep about the importance of education and the need to value themselves as the future men of our city. It is through this type of mentoring that I believe we can get through to our youth. Serving as the executive director of CAPS is a huge responsibility, but one that I am eager to take on. And I believe my experience on the force will further help to bridge the gap between the police department and the citizens, which is what CAPS is all about. So again, thank you to the mayor for this vote of confidence. I am truly honored by this appointment, and I am committed to helping make this city a safer city for all of our re residents. Thanks again, Mayor. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.